That, that's recording. You're recording on our new camera. All right, what's up? Hello, guys. Welcome back to my channel. Hi, hello. If we haven't met already, hi, hello. The name is Quinn. It's very nice to meet you. Today, I am doing a vlog, and don't worry, I will eventually get to the point of actually teaching you how to make this little granny square that I, I guess, came up with. Took inspiration from other granny squares and put them together in this little Mod Podge. But, little housekeeping, I got a new camera, which is what you guys are watching. I'm filming on that right now. I'm so excited. It's a cute little vlogging camera. Right now, I'm in San Diego, in a hotel in San Diego, because Brian is touring with the band right now, so I came out to go and just watch the show and hang out with him a little bit. So I'm here for the weekend, and I'm using this time while he's in rehearsals and setting up for the concert to go around and do some crocheting and be working on this little granny square. Now I'm making all these granny squares because I'm going to be making a steering wheel cover for a friend, uh, one of my coworkers over at the coffee shop. And this was the initial mock-up that I did, but it's supposed to be a maple leaf and then I just kind of came up with ideas around it. Trying to turn a maple leaf into a granny square was in fact its own little set of difficulties because I've never done something like that before. I sent this off to her and she liked the colors, but it was a bit too Thanksgiving-ish type of fall for her. She wanted fall vibes, but this was too um, sit around a turkey vibes, which I get that totally myself too. Um, so she gave me the new prompt of colors, so we're gonna work on that. But first, you and I are gonna go and get some coffee. I gotta say, having a big truck is really fun until you're trying to find parking somewhere. Okay, so here we are, we're in Liberty Station. Um, I'm gonna go to Moniker Coffee. It's a coffee shop that I've been to a handful of times before and I follow them on social media and they're like a huge inspiration for me when it comes to branding and everything. Um, when I'm trying to like curate stuff for our coffee shop, even though if you look at both of our Instagrams and everything, they're like completely different, but just the curation, like everything is just so beautiful. I'm not sure if I'm gonna feel awkward filming in there or not, probably will. And while I'm in there, I'm gonna be working not only on the granny square, but I'm also gonna be updating my website. I have some bucket hats that I've made. I made them like well over a month ago and I took photos of them like well over a month ago. Um, I just haven't put them up on my site and posted them or done anything with them yet. So I'm finally gonna actually do that and spend time doing that. I've been meaning to sell these for like a while now and I haven't done it. And now bucket hat season is coming to an end and I'm finally gonna be trying to sell them. But I don't know, they'll still be up on my site. They're really cool. One of them's a granny square bucket hat and I actually wanted to make a video of me making that, but here we are, who knows? Maybe I'll still do that? Probably not, I don't know. <laughs> so I might just spend my entire time here until I need to go to the concert. So yes, let's go get some coffee. <laughs> There were like three different moniker buildings and I felt like I was gonna rock into the wrong one and I'm also filming and vlogging, self-vlogging, super fun. Okay, so we're back at the hotel. I didn't get any crocheting done over at the coffee shop because I realized I had like actual errands I needed to do today before going over to the venue. But I did edit all those pictures. They are up on my website right now. So you can go and check out um, and buy a bucket hat if you want. Posted some stuff all over on Instagram. Did some social media work for the coffee shop and the pizza shop. And now I just have to download Uber because I have to get over to the venue. Brian wanted me there at like three and it is 2.50. So I'm gonna be uh, slightly late, but it's fine because the concert's not actually opening until like 6, 6.30 or something. So, okay, see you guys over at the venue. How's my hair look? It look okay? I'll crop it out. Oh, nice. Yeah, get a close up of my sweaty pores. Small little before the craziness, an empty stadium, and very gloomy clouds. Um, I know it's very humid, 
So fingers crossed that hopefully it doesn't rain because we are outdoors. Okay, so we're back in the hotel room. That concert was so much fun. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to transition out of that concert footage, but here I am. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get ready for bed. It's like midnight already, and I'll see you guys in the morning. All right, love you, bye. That's a weird way to end this. Um, I'm gonna get maple brown sugar hot latte with oat milk. Maple brown sugar latte with oat milk. A hot one you said? Yeah. Um, 12 or 16 ounce? 16. Okay, good morning, or should I say good day? It is currently 12.24 and I meant to wake up today sometime between 5 a.m. and 7 a.m. and instead woke up at like 10.30. Checkout was at 11 at the hotel, so I like quickly like threw everything into my bags. Luckily, I did most of that last night. Yeah, I just rushed out and rushed here, got some coffee, got some food. This here is my favorite coffee shop to go to in San Diego. This was kind of like my home coffee shop when I lived here. It was only like 10 minutes from my house, and so I would go here like all the time. Well, I have like an hour and a half until my appointment, so we're gonna go kill some more time by going to Joanne's and getting some yarn. Not like I need more yarn, but <laughs> I have a pattern that I'm gonna be testing soon, so you'll have another video of that. But I wanna have a specific color and a specific material, and I don't have that already. It's shocking, right? So let's go and do that. The motherland. Now, I haven't been to this Joann's in a very long time, so I don't actually know where the yarn is or how extensive their yarn collection is. So we're gonna find that out together. I'm getting slightly lost. Okay. Yarn. Okay, my keys are being obnoxiously loud. Okay, so yeah, they have this beautiful wool. This is acrylic. That's acrylic. This is wool. This is the stuff that I'm using for my um, temperature blanket, which I do not need more of because I have barely touched that blanket. This is all acrylic. There are people in the other aisle right now, so I'm gonna stop talking so much, but I can't find any cotton yet. What is this? This is beautiful. Oh, wow, polyester. That's pretty, I might grab that. Oh, okay, here's the cotton. And it's not mustard, but this is cool. It's chenille. That's really pretty. That might actually be really pretty for the shirt. What are you working on today? Uh, okay, a shirt. Ooh, okay. Is it gonna be like a tank top or a full shirt? It's like a tank top. Okay. So hopefully I grab enough yarn. If not, it excuse to come back. Yeah. <laughs> Have a good one. Thank you, you too. 
I ended up grabbing the Respect. Um, it's a recycled polyester blend. It has a polyester, acrylic, and cotton in it. This is a three-weight, lightweight yarn. And then this Chenille Appeal, um, that's 100% polyester. Both of these are 100 grams, though their yardage is quite different. But this is really exciting. I've never worked with polyester before. I went in looking for cotton, didn't find anything cotton, came out with these. This one's super cool. It has like a fuzzy um, texture to it. And then this one is just like a twisted knitted thing. I don't know, maybe I can show you guys better when I get home later. But uh, I did actually pretty good on time. Um, it is currently 105. My appointment's at two and it's like a 35 minute drive away. So even if I'm running a little bit late, um, I'll still get there with plenty of time. I should be getting there around 140. Um, and then I still need to try to find parking up there. So hopefully everything goes well and I will see you guys at the next spot. Good morning. It is now actually the next day. I felt way too awkward trying to film anything inside of the tattoo shop. So I just didn't even bother. And like, I always feel awkward doing that, but I know that if somebody were to come in while I'm tattooing them and they're like, hey, can I film something? I'd be like, yes, please, here, here's a really good angle to do this at. And then like, here, look, I'm about to do something really cool. Like, <laughs> make sure you get a shot of this. But for me walking into somewhere, I'm like, oh, I'm not gonna even ask. I'm just not gonna do it. We're good, we're fine. <laughs> Anyways, the tattoo looks so awesome. I'm so happy with it. It is Gustav Klimt's The Kiss. I've been obsessed with this painting since like, early high school. Um, it's been my favorite painting forever. If you're interested and you're in Southern California, Juan Pablo, JP, Tavera tattoos in Oceanside. Absolutely amazing. Right now I have the dermal shield on, so it looks a little bit funky, a little bit wacky, a little bit wrinkly. Yeah, here's what it looks like. Anyways, I'm heading off to work. I don't think I'm gonna be taking you guys with me. Maybe that'll be another video. It's like work a barista job with me because I don't know, I may not be working at a coffee shop again for a very long time. So I'll just see you guys tonight when I come back and then we're gonna work on all the good stuff when I come back. <laughs> hey, you just chilling. Okay, um, it is a lot of days later and I have a good amount of these granny squares done um i don't know how many i need actually luckily i do have that steering wheel cover and also currently everything around me is still a mess as we are also trying to pack so here's the steering wheel cover um i probably can and should just measure the steering wheel cover so that way i can actually do math to see but i like how this wraps around it wraps around nicely how many do i need how many do i have if this is five inches across and the steering wheel is, how big is this? Oh God. Okay, this is borderline ridiculous trying to find things in here right now because <laughs> well, like I said, we're moving. So uh, we're taking these things and we're organizing them and we're putting them in this bag. And I'm like, hey, I'm using this. So I'm just gonna put this in this bag. Hey, we need to clear some space and empty out this area. So we gotta put the things in this bag and put them in this box and put that box in storage. But hey, I'm using those. So I'm gonna take those out of that bag, out of that box and put it in this bag. And then it's just a cycle. So. I found, I'm pretty sure I found all the granny squares that I've made. Where can I put this down? Because I, again, I think, um, I don't even know if I have a tripod for this camera yet that I can use. Okay, so steering wheel. These things, which also I can't find a measuring tape. I kept one out. The dog is outside barking. So leaving like a little bit of space for uh, the whip stitch or whatever I'm gonna end up using. Uh, this is the old one, which is the same measurements. Okay, so it takes about four to go halfway around. So we'll say we'll make eight. And I know I've made four or five and I don't know where the other ones are. So that's fine. I have two more of the leaves done, um, which I 
I need to find uh, the yarn that I was using for the leaves, which I know that I have. I know I have plenty of this yarn, so it's not like I need to go and buy some more. If my yarn is not in here for these leaves to make a couple more, then I know where it is. It's going to be in a box in my storage unit. But this is what we've got so far. So we're almost done. I'm really excited. This is surprisingly, it's easy to make. Um, trying to figure out how to put it together was a bit difficult turning a leaf into a circle into a square that's a lot of leaves and shapes and math that pff, i wasn't gonna do um but somehow i did it so i will check back in with you guys once i have all eight of these squares ready i'll see you guys in a minute bye okay well it is a lot lot more time later and we are now here in nashville this is our new home our new house this is where we're living Here's Kalua and a bunch of my yarn stuff, and here is the finished piece. Okay, this isn't a perfect tripod situation, and I'm pretty sure uh, the landlord's gardeners or something are outside, but here it is, all put together. Um, I obviously don't have the steering wheel cover anymore to like measure it on top of everything, because um, I like gave that back to her before we left. I didn't want to try to mail that back to her as well. But this is what the granny square looks like. And I just did, um, I think it's called a blanket stitch in between each of the granny squares to turn it into the steering wheel cover. I'm gonna be mailing this to her along with some yarn so she could actually stitch it to her steering wheel. But I've decided to make a separate video about exactly how to make this uh, because I feel like this video is gonna be long enough on its own and its own little vlog. <laughs> But I love how it turned out and having it all together, like the colors look so cute. But that's gonna do it for me uh, and that's gonna do it for this video. I think I have most of it edited already, so it's just gonna be this last clip. But thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you guys like this video, be sure to give it a like. And then if you wanna see more of my face and see me continue crafting and everything, be sure to subscribe. I did a whole vlog film of us moving out here and the full road trip and everything and it was so much fun thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye i'm holding the camera it doesn't work when i hold the camera bye